and Michael Hill. I'm a stroke neurologist here at Foothills Hospital in Calgary. Timely treatment is important for all types of stroke. The goal of acute treatments, treatments that are given in the first hours, is to restore blood flow. Very simply and conceptually, it's a plumbing problem. You got a pipe, which is your blood vessel, it's blocked, and if you can unblock it and restore blood flow, that gives the patient the best chance for minimizing damage to the brain and then, and then of course, recovery, recovery after. So speed is really important because as soon as that blood vessel gets, gets blocked, damage starts to occur and that damage is permanent. So the longer you go with having a blocked artery, the, the, fat, the, the more brain, permanent brain damage actually occurs. The, sh the, the shorter it is, whether it can spontaneously open or whether we intervene medically, we give medicines such as TPA or Ultiplase, a clot busting medicine, or whether we use a device, a uh, retrievable stent uh, with endovascular therapy to go up and pull the, mechanically remove the blockage, then, um, and restoring blood flow, um, the better it is. So speed is absolutely critical in stroke. As a, a way of understanding it, uh, the, the numbers on this are actually quite staggering. So for every minute that the middle cerebral artery, which is a big main artery in the, in the brain, is blocked, you will lose approximately two million neurons per minute and 12 kilometers of axons or wires that connect you. So that's every minute. We have been fortunately funded by Alberta Innovates Health Solutions. We have a program grant across um, Alberta, so Edmonton and Calgary primarily is leading. Our key uh, focus in quality improvement has been on acute stroke and improving the speed of delivery of Ultiplase, which is or TPA, which is the clot busting medicine. In Alberta, there are 15 designated primary stroke centers where there's an available CT scanner, a team, and a protocol to give TPA. And there are two comprehensive stroke centers which can provide all manner of, of intervention and surgical stroke care. Those are in Calgary and Edmonton. So what we're working with all of these 17 sites to try to achieve, ultimately, a target average door to needle time, the median door to needle time of 30 minutes or less. We have an interim target of 45 minutes and essentially we're trying to bring it down from its former average which was around 70 minutes in the province. So we have now safely and well achieved the 45 minute goal and we're working hard to try to get the times below 30 minutes. When you think about that again, coming back to my previous idea of every minute is two million neurons. So 15 minutes saved is 30 million neurons. So you can see that it's important. Even those, every one of those minutes counts. So my hope is that we're able to translate so many of the advances we've seen in stroke care into <clears throat> routine, real life and common practice all across Alberta. It's a big, big dream because there's still a, a large gap between what is known about how patients could be treated and how they're actually treated everywhere. So in, play, in the two academic centers, there's lots of resource, there's lots of people with knowledge and there's lots of uh, imaging uh, availability and so it, it's possible to treat people at the highest level at, at these centers. Um, at the smaller places, it's just not the same. We don't, they don't, the same expertise and training is not available, the same resource is not available, but we have capacity to close that gap. We can bring uh, treatment to people uh, and, and we'll see less, ultimately that will result in less disability and burden from stroke. I mean, stroke is devastating, right? I, I would say that our, the evolution of care in the last, even the last few years with the endovascular treatments um, that we, we were, we've played a big role in with the ESCAPE trial um, from here uh, is, is amazing, right? Ten years ago, I would be treating people, we give, they have a big, huge clot, which where the TPA, the clot buster, you know, it works sometimes, but not that well. It works really well for more moderate or smaller size clots. And the big clots, these people were devastated, right? They would either die or they would be left with massive disability and often end up going to a nursing home, most often. 
And, you know, this week in Calgary, we treated eight people with endovascular therapy, all of whom would have been destined for a nursing home, and seven walked out of hospital. And it's unbelievable, right? So we're, the, the possibility for massive change in what it actually means to an individual person is amazing. So knowing that, this kind of stuff where you're, if we can get everybody you know, really focused on this idea that it's fast treatment with TPA and then potentially move them on for endovascular therapy. If we can do that successfully, it's going to take us a, probably a couple more years to really embed this in Alberta. We really will be changing people's lives.